Hi guys, welcome to Battle Armor once again. I continued work on the 123 Electronics cards. Uh, two cards here, $15 a piece. I was able, able to download some sounds, get the two cards working together to overlap. So basically the engine is idling it all the time. And then on the other card I have the engine revving up. And uh, with the two working together, it uh, sounds pretty good. And I guess the best thing to do is just demonstrate it to you. Now with the, this is just all hang long stock. This is the uh, 2.4 gigahertz hang long uh, MFU. This is just a hang long radio that comes with the new tanks. They have uh, a smoke, so you can turn the smoker on and off. And uh, I, what I've done is instead of that S now stands for start instead of smoke. Uh, push it twice and it'll start up. Push it twice, it'll turn it off. Cannon fires full up. And then to start the engine. to that you can have the other sounds also programmed on these cards so the uh, hit sound for IR battling so if you had a DBC even the old DBC 2's you could hook up and get this uh, sound with them and uh, yeah so it, it would have all the hit sounds destroyed sounds as well um, that can all fit on these cards I'll demonstrate the destroyed sound I think this is it anyways, we'll give it a whirl. All I'm doing is activating it with the thing that used to fire the can and now it's gonna hit now it's gonna be the hit sound. Actually that's a destroyed sound. And uh, that fire burns continuously, it's a repeating sound. Where after the tank's been taken out, it will continue to play this uh, uh, burning sound. I believe I've got it now hooked up to the just the hit sound, not the destroy sound. So it just sounds like a shell bouncing off the turret or whatever. So that's it guys. Uh, pretty stoked. These are only 30 bucks. Uh, two working together. I just used some WAV files that I had uh, for all the other sound work I've done in the past. And merged these two cards together. And just goes to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money it turns out to have sound. So for all you guys out there who are not really interested in IR battling or don't want to spend a bunch of money upgrading your uh, 
radio equipment. There is another option out there to give you a sound quality that's uh, pretty good actually. Uh, I won't quite call it Benedini sound, but the two cards working together uh, do a pretty good job of that engine transition. And uh, I think it sounds just about as good as all the other cards out there, other than the Benedini maybe. But uh, yeah, all for 30 bucks. So uh, I'm going to do a, a do-it-yourself video on this, showing people how to do it. I don't plan on selling these. I just wanted to uh, spend a little time and come up with something to uh, share with you guys. So this is it. Uh, look forward to a video on exactly what's required to get these two cards working together. Realistically, uh, soldering iron, some wire, and I bet you all together there is only eight connections to make. Uh, and it's all easy to get at, simple to do. Uh, so I will share that with you when I get some time to do a how-to video. Thanks for watching.